I'm still working on my audio amplifier and what you see here is the uh, stereo preamplifier for a phono cartridge so for vinyl records to play them this is the schematic consists of two uh, transistors BC547B and in between here is the correction the filter it goes from the output to the input to give the preamplifier a certain characteristic uh, that's it, that it is able to play the vinyl records properly back because on the uh, on the edge of the vinyl record the uh, music is printed in another way into the vinyl record compared to the inner side from the vinyl record high and low are um, present in a different way so the, the preamplifier has to correct that and the in this video I want to show the how you can test electrolytic capacitors I've tested already quite a few and the easiest test is with this an ohms meter I've set it to uh, 100 times here and now I measure the DC resistance from the capacitor so I put my probe, one probe here the plus probe here and the minus probe on the other electrode from the capacitor then I read the meter and after that I reverse the probes and in both cases you must see that the meter swings out and swings back and the resistance finally must be very high and for instance with this capacitor here it's not good I found that um, the meter uh, swings out to the right it swings back to the left side but after that I, the, the pointer from the meter slowly creeps back to the right side and that means that this uh, electro, uh, electrolytic capacitor will give leakage in the circuit and it can disturb the other the next transistor stage so I solder it out again solder it out and I throw it away and here you can see the location from that capacitor it's here 10 microfarad so uh, this capacitor is bad and it means in fact that between the collector here and the base here from the second transistor we don't have capacitance but, only, but also a resistor here parallel to that circuit so that's the reason why I'm going to throw this um, electrolytic capacitor away when you do the test and you find in both directions uh, an endless resistance that's good and um, this resistance also has to do with the voltage from the capacitor high voltage electrolytic capacitors have a higher um, resistance it's in the mega ohms range and low voltage capacitors let's say 16 volts or 6 volt or 10 volt generally spoken have a somewhat lower uh, DC resistance so they have somewhat more leak uh, current but the ideal capacitor of course does not have any leak current at all but uh, with an electrolytic this is always a problem there's always a certain DC resistance in an electrolytic capacitor but in the ideal situation it's extremely high